Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is your girl, Lock Looney Tune, and I'm coming in to let you guys know that yes, I have been smoke free for over a month now. Um, I can't believe I did it. I really can't believe I did it. Um, 30 days without smoking is like it's so surreal to me. Like, I've smoked for 20 years of my life like for the past 20 years I've been smoking a cigarette every been smoking every single day and for the past uh, actually to be exact it has been 32 days 32 days 6 hours and 9 minutes that I haven't smoked a cigarette I have saved $45 and I haven't smoked a hundred and twenty nine cigarettes. So, on an average month, you know, officially it's been thirty two days, but it was a month like a couple days ago. But in a month's time, I smoke a hundred and twenty nine cigarettes. What? A hundred and twenty nine cigarettes. Now, a pack of cigarettes has 20 in it. There's 20 cigarettes in each pack. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. That's like six packs. So in the last month, I have not smoked about six packs of cigarettes. Man. It's crazy. It is so crazy to me right now. Like, um, okay, now a lot of people is asking me, you know, how am I able to do it? How am I able to just not smoke? Like, how was I able to just quit cold turkey just like that? Um, willpower. For me, it was willpower. I had to see that there was something else that I wanted more than the cigarette. And there is. There's something more. There's something that I want so much more than the cigarette. You know, I want the surgery. And when my plastic surgeon told me, in order for you to get the surgery, you have to quit smoking. You know, you have to be smoking, she said, for at least three weeks. This is what she said. And it's been over a month, but um, I didn't want to wait up until it was almost time for me to have the surgery. In order to quit, I decided to quit immediately. Like, I, I decided to quit Right then, I was so excited just about having the surgery that I wanted to say, you know what, I'm not going to wait till like three weeks before the surgery to quit. I'm going to quit now. So, um, what did happen was I gained weight. I didn't gain, I gained more weight than I wanted to gain because nobody wants to gain weight, but I gained about six or seven pounds from where I was and I was 200 and I said I mentioned this in a video before that I was 286 pounds and she wants me to get down to 266 that is still my goal weight um before having surgery but um yeah I gained about six or seven pounds so I went up to like 290 292 something like that so now and then I lost a couple of pounds <sighs> yeah that's a good breath right there like that's a good exhaling moment right there for me that I lost in the last couple of days I've lost two pounds and I've gotten to a point right now now that I have gained the weight that I was going to gain during the whole process of curbing my appetite from smoking and snacking and sucking on candies and all of that to that first month. That first month was like the hardest month because that's where I gained my weight. I, you will, and just from my experience, I'm just telling you my experiences. Um, if you're out there and you're trying to quit smoking, and um, you're going through this process, J just know that after the first month, things start to get a little clearer. 
you know, like you start to not think so much about the cigarettes. It's you're able to actually talk about cigarettes and and be around people, you know, just be around the whole cigarette scene. You're able to have it going on around you without actually feeling like you're going to explode or feeling like you're going to pull someone's hair out or something. Like, I no longer feel like I'm going to have a mental breakdown when I'm around people who smoke cigarettes. I have so much more control now over that. Like, it doesn't even bother me. It was sort of... It's sort of like when I stopped drinking sodas. That's pretty much what this feels like. Like, now I don't drink sodas, and I haven't drank sodas in years. Like, it's been maybe, what, I don't know, 9, 2009, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's been like maybe 3, 4 years since I've, I've drank a soda you know, and I don't even think about that anymore much. I still talk about it, so it doesn't bother me anymore. But not smoking cigarettes, it was not easy. I'm just going to tell you, it was not easy. And the fact that I'm on a weight loss journey, it just makes it, like, that much harder. But I feel good. Like, I feel, um, I feel good. I feel, I really do feel good. Um, the changes. The changes that I have been going through since I've stopped smoking, okay, there has been two major changes. Two major changes that I have seen. There have been some other ones too, but the two major ones that I've seen is, one, my skin has gotten a lot clearer. If you look at my skin right now through this camera, you probably can't really tell, but I don't have on a lot of makeup. Usually, like within the past month, like before I had started um this not smoking thing where I wasn't just smoking, where I was just still smoking. My skin was really, really bad. And I was using the proactive, which I use all the time. And my skin was still bad. Like, it wasn't that bad, but it was still bad. So I stopped smoking. And when I stopped smoking, let me tell you that my skin cleared up immensely like so I'm drinking water and I was doing everything before I was drinking water I was using proactive and even though I was doing all those things my skin wasn't getting as clear as I wanted it to get so oh excuse me so what happened was I stopped when I stopped smoking right when I stopped smoking my skin cleared up so much now that I don't really have to use as much, like, when I do my makeup, like, concealer and um, foundation. I don't even use foundation like I used to because my skin has cleared up so much. Oh, my God. It's cleared up so much. And I used to have such brown. And I don't know if you guys have, could see it in my videos from the past, like, right here in my forehead. I used to have such, so many brown spots, dark spots, and they are pretty much gone. They're gone. That's the first thing that I noticed that changed so much. The next thing was my teeth. My teeth have, oh, God, they have whitened up so much. Like, now, because I used to, you know, when you smoke, you naturally... You know, your teeth start to turn this yellowish color. And no matter how much you brush, even though they're white, they're not as white as they could get because they still have this yellowish tint on your teeth, you know. But since I've stopped smoking, my teeth have gotten, like, oh so white. And I'm loving them. They looking, like, so good. And I'm just like, yeah, because my eyes feel brighter. My skin feels clearer. You know, my teeth are brighter, they're whiter. I'm just really do. I'm really loving, you know, these new effects. Like I said, other than the weight gain. The weight gain, I'm not liking that at all. That's the most horrible part of this whole process. But the fact that I lost two pounds in the last couple of days, trying to get back down to my goal of 266. And believe me, I'm not even... I gained, you guys, you guys can do the math. From 286, I gained like six pounds. 
So you can add on six pounds to that, then six or seven pounds to that, then you can minus two more pounds, and then you will see what weight I am now. I'm not even going to tell you what it is, because there's no need. I probably won't even express what my weight is until I am at the goal weight, which is 266. Keep that in your memories. 266 is my goal. So, and I am at 10 minutes, so I am about to call this a video, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, yes, I am 30 days, 32 days in of being a non-smoker. I am loving it. I am still working out. I am still eating right, and I am doing the damn thing. So, until my next video, I will holler at you guys later. I peace. Yo, 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 yo,